Cade. It's been three months today since your dad's been gone. I don't know how much more it is I can take. Well, maybe I can borrow Mr. Fisher's lawnmower and mow his yard later. Oh, that'd be great, honey. When summer gets here. <sighs> right now, I think the only thing that's gonna save us is a miracle. Mom, me and Kelsey are hungry and Kelsey won't quit fussy. Okay. Kate, why don't you come with me? And uh, Katie, watch your sister with us a little bit and we'll be back in a few weeks, okay? It'll be okay, Mom. You'll see. I don't know how. told us the week before he died how that preacher came and and told him that Jesus was going to help his family well dad told me what that preacher told him and I got saved too and I know that Jesus is going to help us how could that be I mean what did dad tell you well it all started with sin and our need for a savior. And Jesus is that savior. He died on the cross for us. situation hasn't changed, but I certainly have, and you and Dad were right, Kate. I feel so much better, and Jesus has made so much of a difference, so somehow, some way, um, if we move, we move, And uh, but I know that everything's going to be okay. Miss Davenport? Mm -hmm. Hi, sorry to bother you on Christmas Eve. I work for Dr. Grayson, and he insisted I drop this off for you on my way home. God bless you, and have a Merry Christmas. God bless you. Thank you. Miss 
that, Mom? It's probably another bale. Dear Mrs. Carmichael, I attended your husband briefly and he told me about his newfound faith in Jesus. I'm sorry for your husband's passing and that I was unable to help him. However, he was not unable to help me. Since talking with him, I have given my life over to Christ and my life has changed. I never realized how much I needed a Savior. Since that night, I've been unable to get you and your family off my heart. I hope this money helps you with your immediate needs, but I realize that you also have long-term needs as well. I don't think I can ever repay you for what your husband did for me when he witnessed to me about Jesus. I now know the true meaning of Christmas. I want you to call or come by my office the first week of January so I can tell you about the job I want to offer you. God bless you and Merry Christmas, Dr. Harold Grayson. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, Mom, I told you everything would work out.